Alright, so this is part 5 of the tutorial for Gaussian, in which we will see how to create a vibrational analysis input, how uh, to run the calculation, and then we're going to, as usual, analyze the output and then visualize it. So to start, you have to draw the formaldehyde molecule. So I have it over here. Don't forget to auto-optimize it using this tool. And when you're ready with all this, click on Extensions, Gaussian, and you're going to get to this window right here. Um, the calculation that you have to select is Frequencies, each other the number of processors equal to 1. Um, the theory that we're going to be using will be RHF, and the basis set will be 6-31GD. When you're done with all of this, generate the input and run the calculation. Uh, you should know how to do it by now. I won't repeat all these steps and I'm going to jump right away to the output file that I got. So the first part as usual is just the copyright um, and then you get to the root section, the little line that describes what you did. If you notice here that you have the OPT in front of the frequency keyword is alright, then it's good because Avogadro by default puts an optimization step before um, calculating the frequencies, which is great. So then you get to the initial parameters. This is the values that we gave into Gaussian, and that's what it started the calculation from. And then you see the first guess for the energy the first population analysis and then if you keep on scrolling you're gonna get to this part here when it says converged and then you see oh no 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 means that you are not in the optimized geometry so your bond lengths or your angles are wrong and so Gaussian will keep on minimizing the energy and each time uh, getting a better result to finally get um, to the optimized one. So if you see, look here, you're going to see converged and yes everywhere. That means that your optimization is completed, which is stated here, and the rest of the parameters that are listed are the optimized ones. So that's what you're going to see when you're going to um, open the .out file in Avogadro. That's the optimal molecule. Then you also get your uh, homo lumo energies if you want to look for that and you get to the second part of the calculation which is actually the frequency this starts from this line the first part is just a repetition of the optimized geometry so let's skip that and get to the actual frequencies the first lines here are all the units so you want to check that if you want to do any calculations using these numbers. Uh, then you get to these columns. Each column corresponds to one frequency. And then you also get the reduced masses, the force constants, the IR intensity, the Raman activity, etc., etc. So there you go. A quick check to um, make sure that your molecule is stable is to verify that all the frequencies are non-imaginary so that all the frequencies are positive. If you get any negative frequencies that means that somewhere something is wrong. The next part is the thermochemistry section which is done by default for any vibration analysis. Here you get uh, values such as molecular mass, um, the zero point vibration energy, you get the free energies, the enthalpies, so all things like that. Um, and then you get to the end. So now let's see what the actual output is visually. For this, I'm going to go back to Avogadro. I'm going to open the dot out file and then go into extensions and the last button is vibrations, so I'm going to select that. You're going to get a new window open, it's called molecular vibrations, and here you can visualize what the vibrations can look like. For this you select a frequency and then click on start animation, and your molecule starts vibrating. 
can see another one and another one. If you want to also see the force vectors, uh, you calculated that already, so you can click on the little checkbox right here, and the green arrow is going to show you um, the force vectors. Looks like it's dancing. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, uh, so when you're done playing with this, I click on stop animation and now you're ready to actually create a spectrum. For this you have to export these values into a TSV file. So for the, click on the export button. You're going to be prompt to save it. So just click on save. And ta -da. Um, I just want to show you uh, what this file looks like. So open it in Excel. You're going to get to the import wizard, so just click on next, next, and finish, and you're going to get to your file. So these are your frequencies and intensities. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's been noted that Gaussian has a systematic error in the frequencies, and so people um, calculated the scaling factors to minimize the error. Uh, I have the link right here, so I'm going to put it in the comments, don't worry. Um, so for each theoretical model in each basis set, there is spe there's a specific uh, scaling factor. So you have to find it here and then multiply all your values, so all your frequencies by this number. Uh, and then save this file again and it's going to prompt you to like do you want to keep it as a TSV file so yeah you absolutely want to keep it as a TSV file so let's just compare uh, the values this is what you get for the non-scaled and this is what you get for the scaled uh, for the uh, restricted um, Hartree Fock using uh, the basis set 6-31GD, this is a scaling factor, so I multiplied these values by this value, and I got these intensi uh, these frequencies, sorry. And so uh, I also decided to compare to literature, and I got the literature values from this website here, which probably you know it. And if you just look at the first line, you see right away that it's worth uh, going through the scaling procedure because we're pretty much off in a non-scaled one but we're relatively close um, to the literature values in the scaled ones okay so take your time and do it it's important now that you saved your new um, TSV file you can go back to Avogadro click on extensions spectrum and you should see something like this okay uh, if you don't see anything don't panic uh, just go click on customize you will get to this little window here and then click on one of the arrows in scale okay so sometimes like your graph freezes or and you need to sort of poke it to wake it up so click on scale and then just get back to one and you're gonna see your peaks uh, you can play with the Gaussian width, uh, make it fatter or skinnier, like just a line. Uh, you can change the appearance, so if you like, prefer the dark background or want to look as publication, whatever you prefer. You can select it here in the appearance tab. You can also export this image uh, using this right here. And this is pretty much everything that I have to show for the frequencies. Uh, so there you go, this is the end of part 5.